Hi everyone, Russ Ride here. Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever thought of another way that you could increase your tips? Drive smoothly. That's right, it's all in the smooth driving. You don't want to accelerate or brake in curves. Save that for straightaways. And then you know what? Go gently when you're driving. Look ahead. See the red lights change. Just go ahead and take your foot off the gas and slow down. Don't be like other people that'll just keep their foot on the gas, uh, wasting all their gas and decreasing their mileage, having to slam on their brakes and increasing the risks for accidents. Your passengers are going to feel the difference too. The goal is while you're driving to keep them calm and comfortable and not even moving. If they experience high g-forces, your tips are going to go down. So let's go drive around and I'll show you some examples of how to drive smoothly. So doing well at rideshare is kind of like when you learn to drive. Always pay attention to what's going on, follow all the traffic laws, and watch out for the other driver because guaranteed they're going to do something dangerous to get in your way. And it's no different for rideshare. Just drive smoothly. Like ahead the light is red, I'm not in a hurry, I just took my foot off the gas and I'm coasting. It improves your mileage and also keeps the passengers happy in the back. Also, did you ever think about it? If you're driving slower than the flow of traffic, that gives you time to go ahead and react. If someone's pulling in front of you, or if you need to change directions, you can look ahead and have time. If you're keeping up with traffic driving really fast, then you have to react fast as well. And that's when you can make mistakes. Most important, you don't want to have an accident. And then obviously for our passengers, you want to have them be comfortable as you're giving them their rides. So right now I'm driving along this road. I can see the light is green, just turned yellow. Take my foot off the gas. Another technique is when you're stopping, don't slam on your brakes like this. That's uncomfortable and unprofessional. Instead, what you want to do, and I'll show you at the next light, is slowly apply your brakes and just when you're about to stop, let up some pressure and that'll allow your car to gently slow down instead of coming to an abrupt shaking stop. So up ahead I'm going to be taking a right and I'll take it a little bit faster. Obviously there's no one in the car with me and this would be an example of how not to drive. So you don't want to do this. If someone's in the back they're just going to fly across your seat and be very upset. So let's have an example of how to turn without being aggressive. Turn left on Avenue. So I'm coming to a stop, applying the brake just as I'm about to stop. I just let up on the brake pedal so you can see I didn't even come back up that hard. Turn gently. I took my foot off the gas, turning, and then we'll go straight. That's much smoother for your passengers in the back. And that's how you should drive all the time. See, I took my foot off the gas, gently going around the corner, and then I start to accelerate. Practice with this on your own. When you're driving, your body already anticipates what you're going to do, so it tenses up. But as a passenger, you can really feel the G-forces. You don't want lateral G-forces. When you're driving, imagine that you have a cup of water just sitting on your back seat and you want to drive so carefully that the glass never tips over. That's how you should always drive when you're doing rideshare. Thanks for watching this video. Now let's get out there and make it happen. Try some of these techniques and let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. Have a good one.